Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos, I'm pregnant with my eighth. My cat makes her appearance in pretty much all my videos. Um, yes, pregnant with my eighth, um, due in the summer, late summer. So um, I wanted to go over what I am doing. Um, I think that high school, um, curriculum videos, videos about high school homeschooling, um, homeschooling high school are so popular. And I say this all the time because there are not many out there. There are not many channels. A, there are not many people, as many people as you might think, that continue on through high school. Um, you know, people think that, well, now this is like, this is like game on this is not something that I'm capable of doing. This is not something that I want to be responsible for. Um, and so they either send their kid back to public school or private school or whatever. Um, that is not my path. My path for my kids um, is to continue on through the end of high school. Um, now, with that being said, I wanted to go over some of the things that I am using personally to prepare myself to get myself ready for this new chapter and this is by far the biggest chapter that I have encountered um, and I say that I do not say that lightly um, I will have another video and you guys will see I will be in the same shirt probably I'm gonna knock out like a bunch of videos right now because I can and um, I, life was so crazy and I just had to take a pause for a couple weeks on this. So, um, <clears throat> I will do a video kind of comparing middle school, high school, how getting ready, how it's different. Um, and kind of the, the pluses and minuses of high school, homeschool versus middle school, homeschool, and just preparing for that. But I feel like with this, High school on the horizon very close um, I want to make sure as I always say I truly believe that this is the most important time um, yes middle school is important <clears throat> yes elementary school is important but you do not have the must-haves and must-dos on your list for high school as you do for high school um, so I kind of wanted to go over and I wrote down a few things that I am using to prepare for high school, homeschooling high school. Um, first off, you have got to find a good organizational system. And I have found um, through watching other people's videos and through just kind of my own research that having course sheets for each um, semester is ideal, not even ideal. I think it's necessary. You have to be organized with this. You have to be able to present this information if you need to. And when you need to, because you will have to, when you make your own, you know, do your transcripts. Um, obviously I am not there yet. I am not in the process of making transcripts yet. Um, and I probably will not until I need to, but I want to have these course sheets filled out, whether or not I fill them out at the beginning of the year or, you know, at the beginning of high school, I don't think I'll go that route because I'm not sure maybe interests change and electives change and, um, things like that. But, <clears throat> um, and on these course sheets, you do not have to be specific. Just like on transcripts, you don't have to be specific. It will not ask you, um, colleges will not ask you what curriculum you used. That is obviously up to you. That is obviously something that is, you know, to each their own. You decide what you want to use. The only thing that will be listed on these transcripts and on these course sheets will be English 1 or Spanish 1 or geometry or whatever. So it does not matter what curriculum you use. You do not have to be that specific. It is literally the course, um, I think how many credits and the grade. And obviously you want the semester and the year at the top. 
there are a few different ones out there. I have not really pinpointed which one. Um, now, obviously, you can make your own, but I just don't really have the time for that. And I don't, <laughs> I don't that's not just what I want to spend my time doing. So um, there are a few that I have seen floating around that um, I'm going to see which one just works best and is just the easiest format for me. Um, but plenty of people that are on YouTube will tell you about their own course sheets and you know, you might have to buy it. I would just prefer to buy it because like I said, I just don't have the time to sit there and make a, a, a course sheet, a course form. So um, that is what I will be using. I'm going to start writing that down just to make sure. And that is way you can look at what is required and what you have either already done if you're already into high school or what you are planning to do and match those up and make sure. You have to have a visual, guys, you have to. Whether or not you are a visual person or not, you have to be able to check those boxes. If your child wants to pursue college or pursue a certain trade or whatever it might be, you wanna make sure that you have everything prepared and everything ready for them, regardless of what avenue they choose what they are thinking about now before ninth grade or in ninth grade might not be what they are going to choose in 10th, 11th, 12th grade, um, obviously. And so you, but you want to be able to give them the information and make sure that they have all that they need to be able to go whichever route that they want to go. Um, so of course I have mentioned in pretty much every, I feel like every homeschool video that I have done um, for preparation, for courses, for um, choosing curriculum, all of this, what I look at. I look at the district website um, locally or just in our surrounding area that says what we would be doing in public school, um, what courses they would be taking in public school. Now, this is primarily Obviously, in the past, this has been for elementary and middle school just to kind of keep on track. With high school, you have more of a, um, you don't have more of, of choices necessarily, but let's say higher up grades, you want to take um, marine biology. That can count as a science. So there are certain courses that maybe you don't realize that can count as a science, um, that you wouldn't normally take otherwise. Um, I'm sure you all remember that those of you that went to public school, you would have your course guide and, you know, the booklet. And at the beginning of the year, you would pick out, you know, what you were interested in as far as courses, electives or whatever. Um, and then, of course, you had your basics. Now, sometimes people were further along. People maybe were further along in math or they did placement tests that got them out of a certain math. I'm not planning on doing placement tests. Um, I just don't think... I don't, I just don't plan on doing that. Now there are curriculums um, that have like an honors um, section to where they do extra work and then that gets them honors credit. Depending on the curriculum, I, I, I will encourage that um, because I think the more the better, but um, I'm not gonna place them out of something. I just, that's just not, I'm just not at that point. Um, I just don't feel like that's necessary right now. So um, anyway. I look at the district website. I figure out what are the you know the necessities. What do we have to have, and any of the electives. What are you interested in? What um, what course can be counted as an elective? What curriculum piece can be counted as an elective? Um, that way, you have a little bit more feel and idea of what they can use, and is it going to be easy for you to grade this curriculum? Uh, piece or this um, course? Is it going to be easy for you to navigate and for them to navigate and, and be able to put a grade on paper? Um, another big thing that I have looked at every time it comes in the mail is the Christian Books Homeschool Catalog. Um, I get a lot of ideas from there. Um, I will link the video that I just did on my thoughts so far on what we would be using and what we'll probably be using a pretty good idea for ninth grade. Um, and a lot of that came from the Christian books um, flyer or booklet that they send out for homeschooling. And 
I was able to look and see which one is more is geared more towards because I forget which math is geared more towards ninth grade, which one is 10. So it kind of gives you a lot of the curriculum pieces. It gives you like an outline, um, ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th, or this is your prereq that you have to have. Um, and that also comes from the district website too. They will tell you, okay, before you take this, you need to take this. And whether or not that's just a district thing, or it's because a lot of the information that you learn in course A will carry on into course B. It, I, I just, I like having that help and that extra knowledge. Um, and I think that this, the course catalog that you get is so beneficial because it just gives me so information, so much information that maybe I don't have to research um, necessarily and gives me ideas that makes me think and, and not only that, but they have good prices, but, um, it just helps a lot. So those are kind of the three things that I am using primarily for, um, preparing for high school, for preparing for these courses. And obviously once I get ninth grade going, it'll get the ball rolling for just all of the courses and kind of make sure that it just keeps me on track and having those course sheets I think is going to be so so helpful um, because again <clears throat> I am a pen and paper person I don't like I, I don't have a calendar on my phone like a google calendar on my phone I don't have I have to have it on paper I will sit there and look at my little planner and write everything down and having it all here is like, it's like, this is my lifeline. <laughs> so I don't do a lot of stuff online. I don't, um, as far as my phone goes, pretty much all of my stuff is pen and paper. Um, and so having everything written down to where I can visually look at it and pull it out when I need to, um, that is what I wanted. And so, um, anyway, the course sheets, like I said, people have them all over the place. You can get them on teachers pay teachers. I'm sure you can get it off Etsy. You can get it off people, you know, that other YouTubers that have their own. Um, I just don't want to make my own. I just don't. So let me know guys, if you have any other, um, tips for preparing for high school, like I said, it's, it's, it's a new thing. It's, um, it's a new avenue. It's a new um, chapter that we are embarking on and I'm excited for it. I just want to make sure that I'm prepared and that he's prepared. So um, let me know if you have any questions down below, guys. And I will see you next time. Take care.